Hello and welcome. The rain has been lashing down all day long and no end in sight apparently here at the Etihad Stadium in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Manchester City up against Fulham. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Manuel Akanji plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Ilkay Gundogan plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of the park. And handed the task of playing up front is Erling Haaland. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And so the battle commences. Holland. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Mitrovic and couldn't keep himself onside. Stones, not the pass he had in mind. Useful looking position, you've got to say. And the advantage is with City. Grealish. Tremendous ball played through. The end product just wasn't there. Well, you can't watch Kevin De Bruyne and not be impressed, I think it's fair to say, Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him in this game? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is... Can he take advantage? Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Out of play, City throw. De Bruyne. Mares. Oh, didn't seem to be too much in that offside decision. A sloppy pass. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. And he read it well defensively. Pereira. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. But they dealt with the threat posed. Riyad Mahrez. Could cross it in here. Gundogan. Body in the way. 
And he'll go back and hand out a yellow card here. Yeah, he was always going to go back for that challenge. It was a poor one, you have to say. Keen to take it short here. Gundogan. Pereira. Could be. And a goal! Now they have their opener. And now they can celebrate. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. New City get things going again, and the onus is on them to erase the damage done by that concession. Mitrovic, superbly read and executed. And it goes! Two goals in rapid-fire fashion and looking very comfortable here. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Gundogan. De Bruyne. Determined defending. Gundogan. Holland. A very timely interception. Well, Fulham haven't been able to dominate possession, as those stats tell us. But their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. And does well to keep it in play. Grealish. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Holland now with Grealish. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack, and it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. Is it going to end up being productive for them? It's there for him! Oh, a good diving save. <laughs> and now the delivery, and he clears the danger. Pereira. Mitrovic. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Who's going to get on the end of it? Now that attack going up a dead end, and the keeper has the ball.
De Bruyne. Walker. And City get the throw in. Holland. Far from a good pass. Pereira. Mares in the advanced position. But will they be able to produce? De Bruyne takes aim. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Put in by De Bruyne. Able to deal with the threat. Well, pressure building, another corner. <laughs> Kevin De Bruyne with the corner. Struggling to get it away. De Bruyne. Now Gundogan. Rodri crossing opportunity Gundogan and the pass could do damage and the keeper did magnificently well that's just a wonderful save how did he stop that well this has to be their way back into the game the crowd are certainly playing their part Trying to pick out a teammate. And the danger's still on. Rodri. The ball with Rodri. Back to Holland. And he takes it on. And a body in the way. And there we have it. That brings to an end the first half here at the Etihad. Well, part of the story here, Erling Haaland struggling to make an impact. And how often do we say that? Yeah, he's not had his usual impact, has he? He just hasn't got on the ball in dangerous positions. He's got to keep working hard to find that little bit of space to make something happen, that's for sure. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Well, good idea, but just a little bit too much on the ball. Stones. And you saw the situation developing. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Grealish. It needs an accurate cross. Just the challenge that was required. Akanji. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. And still pressing. And he did well to cut it out. De Bruyne. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Holland. Chance to play it in. Well, he's given it away. Well, at first glance, you would think a strong possibility of a red card. Let's see. And the early shower. This is going to be a real test of their mettle. Well, it's a straight red and rightly so. But how will they replace him? They've got to reorganise now. A change in the offing for City. Number eight, Harry Wilson. To be replaced by number 14, Bobby Reid. Possession lost, intercepted. Well, City, as the stats highlight, 
have had most of the ball, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. Well, looking to put the ball to good use here. And using his strength to shield the ball. Can they take advantage? And a decent save for credit. And Manchester City will go to their bench. They take it short. The defender doing his job. And a good take under duress there. De Bruyne. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. This is a message for all the supporters. At full time, can you please remain where you are and your coach will meet you outside the stand. Thank you. Ruben Dias. And threading it forward. Oh, he's given the ball away. A goal! And it's very much game on here. Well, here we can see it again. And it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So there we have it, 2-1. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. But the danger averted for now. Well, just as well from the defensive point of view that he was able to make that interception. De Bruyne and into the last 20 minutes Ake Gundogan holding on to the ball waiting for the cavalry to arrive Ronaldo Silva this could level it really classy goalkeeping Time for a change then. And space to cross it. And offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. And that was a very fine read. Bernardo Silva distributing intelligently. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Well, it hasn't been a great performance, but the fans have been brilliant. Just listen to the noise. Can the players respond and find this equaliser? Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Chasing this game, Manchester City, with time running out. They've given it away. Riyad Mahrez. Mitrovic. It's with Gundogan. Mares 
De Bruyne. Gundogan. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Bernardo Silva. And in with a real chance. And a goal! Well, it's arrived late for the 10 on the pitch. But they won't be complaining. Tremendous fight back. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And De Bruyne's strike is absolutely perfect. Pace, power and accuracy. What a player he is. So the ball is running again at 2 all. Mitrovic and three minutes of stoppage time to be added on a really intense pressure applied well these City fans are demanding a winner here but can the players respond they're certainly playing better now just the challenge that was required well, the referee blows the whistle, nothing to divide them after 90 minutes.